All right, Sebastian. Oh, I'm she's gonna... devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in? Sebastian, did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne, I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. Thank you. You're a good friend, truly. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Ominous? What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. We do have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. We've both heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health. Now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I, I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Good to see you, my young Ravenclaw friend. Allow me once again to express my family's gratitude. They were pleased to learn that the wand Richard Jackdaw disappeared with those many years ago had been located, even if it was somewhat unusable. Glad to hear it. Now, I received an owl from Eleazar, uh, Professor Fig. He was a bit cryptic, said you need to have a special wand crafted, that you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. It is done. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir.
I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the Wand Maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. Oh, 
believe it. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need to send an Alter Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what happened. Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart, are you all right? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... He destroyed so many lives and he wouldn't have stopped. I'm glad I was able to put an end to him. You're right. He wouldn't have stopped. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials. To ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands.